I'm Jessica Mong. I'm in the Department of Pharmacology and I'm an associate professor. For some time we've known that um, sleep in women is a significant health uh, issue. Women from the time of puberty all the way through menopause experience sleep disruptions two times more frequently than men do. And in fact, these sleep disruptions that women experience, such as insomnia, short sleep, uh, difficulty falling asleep, um, in fact, they are uh, co-linked with um, depression, affective mood disorders, and just a general overall poor feeling um, for those women who are suffering these sleep uh, problems. My lab was, is actually interested in understanding the mechanisms, that is, how the cells in the brain that control sleep, how they react to estrogen and other potential ovarian hormones. And if we can understand that, we can better be able to understand the link between sleep disruptions and other um, affective disorders such as depression. Previously, we've shown that, in fact, um, Estrogen is the main hormone that modulates sleep in our animal model, very similar to what we see in the clinical setting. And we wanted to further ask the question, though, is uh, whether there were basic sex differences in sleep. That is, in our animal model, do males and females sleep differently? And so we just basically recorded their sleep and compared the males and the females. And in fact, to our surprise, without circulating levels of either estrogen or testosterone, there is no difference in the way um, males and females sleep. But then we asked the next question in this study. We gave back the appropriate hormones. We gave back estrogen to the females and testosterone to the males. And sure enough, we were able to see that in the females, we had a 50% change in uh, sleep duration, sleep patterns in the females, but essentially no effect in the males, concluding then that estrogens are estrogen is modulating sleep in females and that testosterone is not really changing all that much um, in male sleep our prediction was is that the female brain potentially could be wired differently that is that the sleep uh, connections from brain regions that, that um, underlie and control sleep are different in males and females. So menopausal women, one of the primary symptoms of menopause is uh, sleep disruption. And some women have severe sleep disruption and insomnia. And we know that hormone replacement therapy that includes estrogen will um, alleviate these sleep issues. The problem is, is that not all women can take hormone replacement therapy because of the negative um, health concerns on the breast and the uterus. And so one aspect of our work is to really begin to understand the cellular and molecular um, underpinnings of how these hormones are affecting sleep in the female brain so that we can develop drugs to target some of these cellular mechanisms that will not require women to take hormone replacement therapy to alleviate their sleep disorders.